Hi everybody and welcome to another piano video here at Miriam Pianos. My name is Stu Harrison and today we are going to be covering where to find a serial number on a Kawhi piano, what that serial number might mean, and by extension where Kawhi pianos are currently made. So we hope you find this useful. It's something that comes up quite a bit both in the showroom as well as comments and questions online. So let's get started with this right away. So let's start by addressing the easiest question of all, where to find the serial number. If your Kawhi is a grand piano, the serial number is going to be imprinted directly on this iron plate. And so the easiest way to see it, of course, is just to remove the music desk that would normally be sitting right here and look in this general area and you're going to find two pieces of information. One of them is going to be uh, what definitely looks like a serial number. So this could be a five, six, or seven digit number. Uh, and there may be a letter in front of that number, or sometimes it's just a number on its own. You're also going to find something uh, that's, that's going to indicate exactly what the model is. Now, on some of the higher end instruments, this might be uh, some sort of a shield or kind of emblazoned uh, marking like this is on the Shigeru SK7 that we're in front of right here. Uh, in other cases, it may actually just be ink directly on the plate, just like the serial number is. And so, in this case, the serial number reads 2684479. So it's a seven digit number, there's no letters before or after it, and we can also see that the model is an SK7. Now, on an upright piano, it's going to actually be in a similar uh, place on the plate, uh, but you're obviously going to have to look for it in a slightly different way. So an upright piano, you can usually see uh, both the serial and the model if you flip open the top lid and the serial number is going to be on the right hand side, right near the very top of the piano. And same thing, this is either going to be a five, six, or seven digit number. Um, it may be preceded by a letter. And then you're also going to see uh, some type of a code that indicates the model. And that's usually a two, three, or four alphanumeric code, such as K3 or ND21. Uh, and that would be the model of the piano. So the serial number can actually tell you quite a bit about the piano besides its age. Uh, Kawhi does list on its website, um, you need to go digging for it, but uh, Google is the easiest, just go where do I find my, uh, how old my Kawhi piano is, and they actually list right up till I think about 2012 or 2013 is the last batch that they released to the public, um, and you will see uh, the year that your serial number uh, was produced. It sort of provides these ranges, like between this serial number and that serial number means it was produced in 2003. Uh, a couple of quick ways to tell where your instrument is coming from, and this gets into our second question of exactly where Kawhi pianos are currently produced. Um, if it is a seven digit number, uh, that means that the Kawhi was produced in Japan, very likely at the Royu factory in Hamamatsu, and that if, it, if it's seven digits, uh, it's probably been made uh, at least from about the early 1970s uh, onward. Um, the current uh, serial number ranges that are in the uh, sort of the 2010s to 2020s all start with a 2.5 or 2.6. The latest ones now are up to uh, 2.7 million. But a really good way to know is if it looks relatively new or it's in pretty good shape, looks like it's 20, 30 years old or newer, and it's seven digits, that piano is 100% assembled, built, produced in Japan by Kawhi. No ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, if you find a piano uh, that has a F in front of it, uh, and I don't honestly know why it's an F in front of it, but Kawhi has a second factory in Karawan, Indonesia. Uh, and this is the factory where they produce uh, models uh, like the GL10. Um, they also finish production of their uh, K200, the K15 upright piano is also produced there for the North American market. Uh, and that's where the assembly occurs. Now in some of those models, there, there are some components coming in from Japan, but final assembly is taking place in Karawan, Indonesia. And so those usually uh, start with the letter F, and then those are followed uh, typically by a, uh, about a five digit number. 
And so those are also available on Kawhi's website. You can find those serial numbers. Um, and those are usually going to be uh, no older than about 15 years old, maybe 20 years old, because that's, I think, approximately when the factory actually opened. Um, there's always questions about whether uh, Kawhi's are coming from China or whether some other company makes Kawhi pianos for them or whether it's just a brand and six different places are putting them all together. Um, for North America, and this is what I can speak to with complete confidence, uh, every single Kawhi piano coming into North America for sale is either produced at the Japanese factory uh, in Royo uh, in Hamamatsu, or it's coming in from the Indonesian uh, factory in Karawan. There are no Chinese produced, um, partially Chinese produced pianos uh, that are uh, landing in North America for sale within North America. Um, I'm not sure whether that's 100% the case for pianos sold domestically uh, in China or not. There may be a different situation over there, but at least in North America, and I believe also for Europe uh, and Australia, what I've just said is, is the truth. One last point before I finish off this quick video. Uh, if you are looking at a serial number, either in a showroom or perhaps you're considering a piano a private sale and you've got the serial number, you're trying to do your research to figure out when this instrument was produced, I will um, caution buyers or potential buyers about one uh, idiosyncrasy of the piano industry because this is very different than electronics uh, and uh, certainly different than cars. Um, this is a business uh, which has a lot more difficulty uh, warehousing product uh, in the region that it's going to be sold. It takes longer to get product there uh, because there's less volume moving around. They have to do it in these large batches and then they generally sit for several months. So uh, essentially what I'm trying to say is you may have a piano where the serial number actually states uh, that the piano was made in, for example, 2017, but you've got somebody trying to sell it to you swearing up and down that they actually bought it in say late 2018 or even early 2019 and it was 100% new and that's definitely when they bought it and they're even showing you receipt and you're looking at this discrepancy between the website that tells you this was produced in say 2017 um, and information coming from to you uh, either from for example a salesperson or a private sale and you're seeing this sort of 12 to 24 month discrepancy. Well that really is because from the time the piano is finished in the factory to the time where it's even sitting in the country where it is to be sold could be as long as six months. Um, at the very least, it's normally three months uh, at the earliest, but it could be as long as six months before it even gets to the point where uh, it's going to be distributed to dealers. From the time it sits at a warehouse to the time where a dealer may uh, purchase it is very dependent on the market. That could be anywhere from one week um, but that could also be as long as three or four months. And then once it's in a dealer's uh, own inventory, either on the floor or perhaps they're warehousing somewhere off site or in the back of their store, um, it is not unusual for a smaller volume dealer uh, piano store to take an additional three to six months to sell a new piece of inventory. And that would not be considered unusual uh, and it wouldn't really be considered uh, particularly um, uh, dishonest or unethical to still call that instrument uh, a completely brand new instrument. Never had an owner, it's never been rented out, it's never been out of its box, and it's been well cared for. So that's the only um, sort of piece of advice that I would throw out there as, as a, uh, just a word of caution against jumping to uh, too many conclusions if you do find some discrepancies between uh, claims of new pianos uh, and that information uh, that your serial number uh, will bring up. But certainly if you're talking about a larger volume dealer and a large market, uh, you're generally not going to find much more than about a 12-month gap between when the instrument was finally rolling off the line to the time where it's hopefully gracing uh, your home, your school, your church, uh, or wherever else you've chosen to put your new piano. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully uh, that has shed a little bit of new light on where you can find the serial number in your Kawhi piano and what that serial number may mean. Thank you so much for watching. If it's the first time to the channel, uh, subscribe. We'd love for you to check out other videos that we're constantly producing and let us know what you thought about the video as well. We really enjoy the comments and we do our very best to respond to each and every one of those comments. Stu Harrison signing off for Miriam Pianos. We will see you back for another video shortly.